Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 7 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about the HTTP request and form. Occasionally, developers may need to fetch an instance of the ongoing HTTP request. In Laravel 7, we can obtain so by using Illuminate HTTP request class in our controller. This will automatically fetch the incoming HTTP request instance. Okay. So let's see some usage of HTTP request. For that, just open user controller. So go to the project and just open the user controller. And inside the user controller, you can notice that illuminate HTTP request is already att attached to all the controllers that we create with uh, artisan command. All right. Now we can use this request class inside our controller method. So I am just going to type uh, here uh, inside the index method. Just pass here the request and request. Okay. Now we can use the request object uh, here. So for accessing their method, so just uh, go inside the index method and just First of all, remove this line and just write here request arrow method. All right, and also remove this line and just remove uh, return here. So just write here return request arrow method. Okay, now save the file and uh, switch to the browser and just go to the localhost 8000 user. All right, now press enter. Now you can see here the requested method, which is the gate, is showing here. All right, now see the request path method. Path method returns the requested path information. So go to the controller and just remove this and add here path. Okay, now Save the file and just refresh the page and you can see here the requested path is user. Alright, this is the user, this is the requested path and you can see here the user. Okay. Now another request method is URL which is used to retrieve the URL from the incoming request. So let's see the URL method. So just go to the controller and uh, change path with the uh, URL and save the file and go to the browser, refresh the page and you can see here the path, URL path. Okay. All right. If I add some query string uh, in the URL, let's say uh, question mark name is equal to Jennifer and age is equal to 25 okay now press enter you can see here query string is not saying showing okay so for showing the complete URL with the query string we can use full URL method so go to the controller and just write here full URL capital okay now save the file and just go to the browser and refresh the page you can see here full URL with the query string okay all right now we are going to see how can we use form in Laravel for sending a request to the server for that we will just create a view so go to the resource folder and inside the views just create a new view so just open the view go to the resources folder and inside the views just click a right button and new file then create a view so let's say view name is login.blade.php 
Alright. Now create a controller and uh, so just go to the command prompt and uh, here just write php artisan make controller controller name let's say controller name is login controller all right now press enter all right controller has been created so go to the project and just open this login controller and inside this login controller controller just create a function public function and function name let's say index and just return the view and view name is login all right and also the create also create the route so go to the web.php file and here just create another route get and route name let's say login then controller name which is login controller at the rate method name which is index all right now open the login view so go to the login.play.php file and here just add here the html5 boilerplate so just type here exclamation sign and press tab just change the title here so just write here login all right now add the form inside the body tag before adding the form uh, for the styling purpose i am just going to add here bootstrap for cdn so for that go to the bootstrap official website so go to the browser and uh, first of all inside the google just write here bootstrap for now just click on first link and from here just copy the CSS so just copy this line and paste inside the login.blade.php so just write here inside the head tag save the file go back to, to the uh, get bootstrap.com and just copy this js file so just copy this line and paste just be, uh, before the closing body tag all right Now save the file. Now search here the forms. And just copy this code from here and just paste inside the body type okay so first of all just create a section then container row and call md it says six all right and just here the form that code okay just uh, remove the checkbox from here and also the also add here the name attribute so just write here name email and also here name 
password all right id email and inside the password field id password and label for password all right now create a route for the form submission so go to the login controller and first of all right here public function let's say login submit and just return here just simply print a message form submitted all right and also create the route so go to the web.php file and here just write here the route post login URI and callback function just type here the login controller add create method name method name is login submit so just copy this method name and paste here also give name so just write here name login dot submit right now switch to the login dot blade dot php file and here just add the action So just write here action is equal to inside the curly bracket just write here route and route name which is login.submit so just copy this and paste here all right and method name post all right one more thing which is important for the laravel form uh, which is at the rate csrf so, so just add here at the rate csrf okay without adding this you are not able to submit the form so now save the file and just run this so go to the browser and go to the url login press enter you can see here the login form so just write here the email let's say test at the rate gmail.com password 123456 and just click on submit you can see here form submitted you may also retrieve all of the input data as an array using the all method for that just add to the controller login controller so just go to the login controller and uh, inside the login controller just to return just right here at the rate input is equal to dollar request all okay and just pass here the request request all right and here just return dollar input all right now go to the browser and resubmit the form 
so just write here the email id and password now click on submit you can see here email id and password okay you can also get individual request from input so by using the request input method so for the for that just type uh, go to the controller and uh, just uh, type here let's say dollar email is equal to dollar request input and inside this just pass here the field name which is email and dollar password is equal to dollar request input and just pass here the password all right and return email concatenation sign and here just password dollar password all right now save the file and go to the login view and resubmit the login so just write here test at the rate gmail.com password this just click on submit you can see here email id and password okay so in this way you can grab the input data from the request so that's all about laravel http request and forms so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.